Okay. Well, there's one thing that happened. Um, unfortunately, I don't have it recorded. But this this sniper rifle here for your drone, the AID Empire sniper rifle, you get. I'll show you the area. But anyway, this is after you got the Truman Spear, which I showed you how to get. And you get this heavy weapon here from one of these guys. I have a full scavenger set on. That is gotten just by farming these little nothing guys here. You can kill them and they'll eventually at least get the heavy weapon. You need it for these next guys. Um, once you have it, your meds are charged up to two, as mine are. Just run past these guys. There's no... And like I said, you need this gate open so you can get easily back in there if you die, which you will, or might maybe you won't. And you want to go right past here. Now, normally there's two guys. There's two guys back here in this little area here. I killed one. I thought it was recording. It was not. Um, but the one guy I killed, he had. Um, I just made sure he had this awesome this guy has the armor this time he had body armor which is the yellow triangle when I did that that gave me um, you'll see here his schematics for the nightfall but it also gave me even more importantly it gave me this Empire sniper rifle so you have to kill one of these two guys when they have body armor to get that as far as I know the next part. Now, this guy, we need to take him down and get his weapon. The weapon is the most important part of this. Love that. That's awesome, bro. That's awesome how you can just keep doing moves. It's awesome. So we're going to wear down this right arm now, hopefully. That's what we're trying to do. Except when he does that. And I got your ass, bitch! And that's it. Once you get that, now we should get the schematics for that and the ever-important weapon he's holding. Because that's what we're going to... Better give me the damn weapon. There it is. That's the, that's the whole purpose. That sniper rifle and the weapon. Because these two guys don't respawn. But now we got their two armor parts. So from here, we no longer need this weapon. Because um, that other weapon, not only is it better... It, it can break shields. Just by doing the charge attack. This will break those shields that we were having problems with. So now we're just going to clear out what's in here. Go back down here and open the way to the next area so we can go to level 5 stuff. And we're going to go to the area that gives us level 5 stuff that way. going to open that gate or one of those gates yeah, I'd open that gate to go up there or closed it or whatever the hell it did yeah it opened this gate which is still closed anyway anyway you're going to get a very important implant right here that guy's sitting on it And this is to ensure your cuts always hit the right area. Um, so if you could, which I can't because I'm such a low level, I would put that in there. Next part. We're just going to run right down on here. Again, I'm, st I'm still level 6 doing all of this. Nope, that has not changed. Go through here. There's this guy here. He 
it would have been dead, but of course I fall instead of the guy dying. I don't know where that idiot came from, but the hell with him. But anyway, we need to go up here. Yeah, the person, you gotta watch out for there. You can get a double-rigged weapon here, the two things that that person is holding, by dicing one of the arms off, if you want to. If you don't want to, you don't have to. But it's an easy way to Blank. This weapon is not, it looks big and slow, but it is actually very fast. But the, there you go, that's that weapon there if you want it. Down here, grab this thing, which is a battery charge. Might as well heal thing. This you gotta run, which is holding down A and then clicking the left uh, button on the control stick. Same way to get back across. This has an okay implant if you go through there it's a stamina regen so we will get it because we will probably use it later and it's a good place to practice backstabbing he doesn't really have anything we want so we might as well just get him out of the way as easy as possible which is that now we need to run again and jump grab the implant run back jump those are death falls, by the way, so if you miss it by just even a hair, you will die. Just so you know. But now we got the weapon and that. So oh, in this area here, we're just going to be focusing on opening the area previous and this one together. So if we need to, we can go back and forth. That guy's an idiot. You can talk to him if you want. And this opens that gate there. There is another area up here, and I think there's an implant as well. Right here, or this is scrap. Oh no, it's drone banner, which is eh. Leaves your little banner of your guy, who cares. But down here opens this other door also back to the starting place. So you got this door too now. Now you can just go, the med bay is right there. You can just go there. Just having the shortcuts open. But now we're going to go to make level 5 stuff. So we're going to go straight from 3 to 5. Now we could farm 3 stuff here if you wanted to. One of them has a um, same thing with the guards. But we have to kill 2 guys here first. These 2. Um, preferably if they have armor. Like this guy. Go for the head. you'll get because they have the vulture set which is very better than this it's pretty damn good and it gives you an implant was not expecting that thank you sir we'll take his weapon Notice how they always hit you when you got him in the blue, but that should give us his weapon and his armor vulture for the armor. So now we got the head and the armor vulture. But we're at a very disadvantage here, but we're going to use this hammer that gives that. So we need a leg. There's our leg. And I think... Is that all we needed for Vulture? Let's just take a look here. We need the body. So hopefully if this guy has the body, and he does. I hate when it... I hate that move. It switches between the two. I don't know why. But now we got the full Vulture set. Which is what we're going to switch to immediately. And you can get a good weapon here. There's a little talky thing here nobody cares about. But this release has a double rig thing here. Which drops a box. Some people like that stuff, some don't. 
After this video and I show you how to go to three to five, I'm going to show you how to go from five to nine. You don't have to wait for this if you're not, you don't want to. It's not required to get to the next part. But it does leave one of those boxes there and then you get a weapon, so. There's a lot of enemies I skipped over too so far. Grab this back and uh, we're gonna do the same thing. We're going to go after her. I think it was a leg we needed. Hopefully she has a leg, good. We're just gonna break her shield once again. Switch to our spear, which is going to be easier. And we just see that guy, the third guy way back there is shooting, dude. It's like, are you serious? That's the big jump. Trying to get this done quick. Normally I would do recommend doing one jab. I'm just trying to get it done fast for the video. That's why you see me taking ridiculous chances with them. Such a high level enemy. At least at this stage in the game, you really wouldn't take so many chances. Again, she's doing it because she knows I'm at, take this shit, fly him! She knows I was getting ready to knock her out, so now I should get the leg for the Nightfall, if you want the Nightfall gear, which I think is good. Some people don't. Now, this guy has a, usually has a, a good head implant. So we were gonna go for the head anyway, because we need it. I hate when he does that. If he goes, they start shooting, just hide behind the thing and make him, force him to come out. And then just smash him. I don't know how he hit me. Oh, no, you don't. This guy's usually slower, not as aggressive as the other one. Usually. I should have dodged to the right. I knew he was going to do that bullshit move. And now he wants to play Mr. Hero. Well, Mr. Hero, I'm going to smash your fucking face this time. Because you... Shit. This is what should have happened last time. Man absolutely manhandle him that time. See? Got a new damage reflect enhancer. I got the headgear. I think that's all of... If it is, I'm not even going to fight the other one. There's no need. So you got all your nightfall. Um, there's no need to fight the other one. The other ones. We, we need to go to level 5 land, and that's it. So... For this part, you're going to run past them. There is a level 4 enemy that comes out. Um, you can fight and does have um, some JCPD Lancers. Let's see if I can just kill this one quickly because it's just annoying as shit. Like she, she, she tried to finish me there. She always does doubles. gonna finish you see how she always tries to finish you like like I didn't go for any body parts because she's got nothing I needed so right here we know we, they don't want us going through here we're gonna do it anyway
he goes up or down, we go up, and now we're gonna go right over here. There is a, um, this here, I forget what it is. It's a small pile of nothing, but they don't follow you, which is weird. So now if you go straight down to this area, this is the level five area. And right here, you get another nice little chest. Watch her, she's headed toward the subway tunnels. We'll never find that damn kid if she gets underground. Doesn't matter. The general's got her ID. Just go to Gideon's Rock. Marks that the Babylon Gardens can take over. Babylon Gardens, copy that. Grab another thing here. There is a weapon. Uh, we want to get from that level four robot back there. If you like double rig, you knock his arm off. Um, but back here is a really great, want to use this as soon as possible. Um, and that increases your charged attack. And right up here unlocks another shortcut to the court area. So you can bypass all of that shit. Same with this stuff. So we open a bunch of doors to get us back to where we started. And see here, this goes down there to that area, but that guy right there is an implant. I think it's an implant, maybe it's not. Uh, scrap, it's fine. But to get to that guy's area, you gotta go down here. But it's gonna open a door for us, so it's, it's worth it. You go here. Go across here, grab that, and now we go through here, and right in here, we open this door, and that goes to right where those three guards were. So that can loop us back around there. You don't have to fight this guy, it's a waste of time. <laughs> just go around him. Um, I think we grabbed the other thing there. We're gonna, just gonna go back to where we were, but this takes us straight to the seaside court so you can skip over this guy that's a guy down there they want you to fight he gives good stuff vulture stuff if you want to but so far i've got nothing just the operator level one gear still and now we're in level five land we have all the doors open so what we want to do before we start this fight because this is the area that that's going to get you like this is the area um that can really mess you up bad there's people shooting at me, of course. Can't even see what's happening and getting shot at. But yeah, this is level five land. As you can see here, that's the level five guy. But what we're going to do is open up the med bay here. So now you just right go right down these stairs here. Here is the med bay. Open this up and now... This is level five land. And while we're here, you can uh, switch your, you might be able to upgrade your weapons even, um, but bank any tech you have or upgrade. You can still see I have not even upgraded anything. Um, can't upgrade my weapons. I don't have enough stuff yet. But now, even if the level 5 guy gets you, you're still in the area. You'll spawn right here and you can keep fighting them. And they keep spawning as well. So back here, uh, I forget if there's something behind these trucks. We'll take a quick peek. There is. I don't know if it's, it's just scrap, so it's not a big deal. Um, there's uh, a ton of very hard guys here. I think three and up, three and four, but you can get some special, um, up in this building there, you can get a, some special loot, a cowboy hat, uh, the rhino gear, the scarab gear. Um, yeah, all from that area there. There's like six or seven enemies straight ahead of me. There's those three and another three or four behind them. Very tough, but there, none of them are level five. Here's the level five guys, these guys. And what you want to do, the first thing you want to do is get the weapon they have, which is an upgraded kind of uh, one of this. Would have been best if one of them didn't have the uh, armor. But we're just trying to get the um, weapon off them. Of 
That should have busted the shield. That definitely busted the shield. Now we're just going to poke our favorite game. Whoa! Whoa, Missy. Let's take it easy. Damn it, dude! <laughs> like, she's doing sliders? Dude, she is really not happy with me. She really wants to get me. I mean, she's doing this. There we go. Almost got it. Oh my God! One hit away from finishing them. One hit away. Anyway, like I said, it's gonna spawn us right. I. Uh, the game for you that's the game for you you win the whole battle and then they get one little cheap shot on you and you die that's just how it goes <laughs> this shit is in the way though this stuff is really annoying the shit out of me so make sure you run through all of this stuff or else it'll they'll push you into it and you'll get stuck but yeah not happy about that i would, would have rather one guy that didn't have armor I, I can't believe this takes two shots, which is crazy. Probably because they haven't upgraded it, but whatever. I can't believe I had her down the two. One, literally one. I'm not joking. I was one shot away from get. I don't know how she one hit killed me. If it was like that big move, I'd be like, all right, that, that makes sense. That's fine. And bang! Just like that. Level 5 weapon. Well, well, the, one of the better weapons. And level 5 gear right there. There it is. The dark, the dark star. That is definitely... So if I switch to this, this weapon is, is pretty much, it's already MK3 stronger than, so they already marked it as a favorite, stronger than this guy, you know? So I already got an MK3. And I, I'm leveled nothing too, which is hilarious. And you would just keep farming these guys. But it makes it easier now when you have this weapon. I don't know how it hit me. But it is safer to use the spear. Like this still does. It's trying to cheese me. I don't know how to do, I wish I knew how to do that that slide move. That was risky. Goodbye leg. And that's the schematic for the legs. So I got the arms, legs. Again, you can get the head and the body. But that's how to, how to go. And, and if you look at it, I'll show you. I'm so, so... I'm level six. Level six. Fighting level five enemies. 
just with this, that's how great this spear is. Because it's only level two still. And if you look at now, I have this unlocked. You know, I got some tech banked up, but I'm still level six. I still have, you know, not constructed this. I have the whole Nightfall gear set, the whole uh, scavenger. I have the Vulture, which a lot of people like. And I got two pieces away from that, which would be easy to get and level it up. But you can see I already got pieces for MK5. One for arm, one for leg. So I could use those to upgrade my, my you know, if I wanted to, I could use those to convert it back and upgrade. Because you can always use higher parts to convert lower. Same with the weapons. You would do it with the weapons as, as, as well. You can see I have... Um, none for the weapon because I, I only did the one and the first one you get is just for the weapon but I already have a three for that but I wouldn't even bother just farm the fives um, because to fight the level nine you really want to be at level five gear type stuff so here's where you would do your farming um, and stuff change your gear But as you can see, all it takes is going in there and then coming out. And then two more appear. But there's actually two more of those guys behind there and the jumping robot. The jumping robot is, is a level, he may be six. Um, and the only thing you can get from him, you can get a power core thing that jumps your power core by 12, which is really good if you chop the tail off. And you can get a weapon out of his right arm one time. And then every once in a while, you can get some level 6 tungsten. But after you get this done, this part done, you, we would go back to where the little Johnny board is. And that's when we would get our level 9 stuff. And that's it. I'll do a video on that after. Maybe I'll keep myself at this level gear. I don't know if I can do it.